For nearly two months, a man in Fort Collins has been living out of his truck after someone stole his $15,000 camper. It's a very nice one. Well, this week, an anonymous CBS4 viewer wrote our Dylan Thomas, sharing exactly where that trailer could be found. Thanks to the tip, a suspect is in custody, and Steve Trimble was reunited with his home today. Well, Dylan found it's not an entirely happy ending. I was hoping and praying that it would return. Nearly two months after Chris Trimble's $15,000 trailer was stolen, a viewer emailed CBS Denver with an address where the camper could be found. We forwarded that information to the Larimer County Sheriff's Office, where they located the trailer at this home near Laporte. I just paid $450 to get my stolen camper back. CBS4 was there when he reclaimed his house. The camper is trashed. From the exterior and iconic Eagle stickers. Because of the news story, they ground it off so that it wouldn't be identified. To security. They jacked the locks up. And the worst part. It was an absolutely mint condition. The interior. This is what it looks like now. Police found meth marijuana, oh my gosh, and drug paraphernalia inside. How could you even live in here? Left with few words for the suspect. Judging by the inside of that camper, you definitely need some help. Every square inch of the inside of that camper is going to need to be cleaned. I will accept help from anybody willing to give it. But for now, Trimble says he is just grateful to have his camper back while he tries to figure out how to restore it. Thank you, Dylan, to CBS Denver 4 News. I thank you very much for getting my camper back. Thank you very much to whoever had the courage to call. The suspect in this case was already being held here at the Larimer County Jail on unrelated charges at the time CBS Denver led law enforcement to the trailer's location. Chris Trimble says he plans to prosecute to the fullest extent, but in the meantime, he needs help cleaning that trailer and getting it back to a livable condition so he can pursue his dream of taking it to Fremont County while he builds a house. In Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.